All right, I was gonna make a video as I was doing this, but I kind of got distracted and on a roll, so I'm just gonna have to do a video detailing what I did instead of showing how I did it. Uh, this right here is actually an ESS One Plus 2017 version. Um, it's been waterproofed, so I'm just gonna go over how I did that. This piece right here with the wires coming off is the board. If you get an ESS one, you just take the four screws out of the case and comes off. There's four more screws holding this board on and it comes off. Uh, and then I direct soldered some different wires in, but you can leave the normal wires. So there's just a little square board here. Um, make sure everything's wired up right. And then I just coated it in liquid electrical tape. And then this here is a different speaker. The ones that they come with are well smaller uh, and they're rated for five watts at least that's what printed is printed on the back of the speaker so this is a 10 watt speaker and it's a little bit bigger i made this uh 3d printed speaker box for it so i just got the wire wire coming out here and then direct soldered on where the other speaker the stock speaker was soldered on um so yeah, once this was coated in liquid electrical tape, I just used some uh, two-sided sticky tape to stick it on here. Uh, the hole in the box has been siliconed. The speaker has been, I ran a bead of silicone around and then I screwed it in and then put a little bit of silicone just around the edges. Uh, this is listed as a waterproof speaker, so that was half the reason why I bought it, but when I got it, it just looks like a normal speaker. I couldn't really see any extra waterproof features. So this surround part is rubber, so that'll be fine. Uh, this, the cone is made of paper, it seems like, or some sort of composite. So what I ended up doing is just coating the paper in this uh, clear nail polish. What is it? Double duty, base and top coat, whatever. I did two coats on the paper part here and now it's nice and glossy so it should be should be waterproof. So I got this specific speaker because I thought it was waterproof but I think it's just a normal speaker that they maybe got a little ambitious on the features of it. I'll put a link in the description because it's actually pretty good. It's pretty small for, well, it's a pretty small speaker for being a 10 watt speaker which is double the stock speaker, so you can go louder without it uh, starting to crackle or whatever. So yeah, this is uh, kind of a better speaker for the ESS-1, and just in case you didn't know, some tips on how to waterproof it.